I'll, I'll, I'll go get there. Okay. Here's a spearman. Really easy. Watch this. You ready? Stand in front of them, all the way up against them. Put your sword above their head. When you stand, when you stand close to the spearmen, they only do one attack. They only do this overhead attack when you stand up against them. Put the sword above their head. Like this. Right here. This is how you parry spearmen. You can do it another way too. If you really want to. By turning like that and catching it on the backside. But this is, you know, whatever. It's super easy. Another spearman. Same thing as before. Walk up to him. Carry above his head. Post for post. He's done. Curious because the hitbox for the head is different. The parry is different for the bow skeleton. Fair. What about the other attack? Well, you just walk up to him. He won't do the other attack. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you walk up to him and, and get up close to him, he won't do the other attack. So you can parry him. You can parry him doing that maneuver, but it's it is quite random. Hope you guys are proud of me. Crouch in front of him. Got my first skull keeper in the chair a few games ago. <clears throat> Ow! Holy shit! Okay, I'm gonna crouch in front of him. Stand right in front of him and crouch. That will never hit. I mean, it's neat, but I want to. I want to like parry him. Let's see if I can parry him like this. Hey, look at that. Lamau. Basically, if he teleports first thing, I reset the fight every time. I'm not gonna parry Ghost King. You can try. It's not really worth trying though. It's better just to keep hitting him in the head. Four twenty friendly. Well, that hurt. Don't get teleported on. I got a Ghost King guide on YouTube, so we're not gonna go too crazy into the the whole guide portion of this. Like it's just gonna kill him real quick. <clears throat> Sheets messed up. Ghost King is the easiest crypt slot to solo. Easy peasy. You just beat him up. He just screams at you a bunch of times. He does the slam. This is the only difficult part of the entire fight, quote unquote. Uh, just jump right before he comes down, crouch jump, you're good to go. I jumped. I jumped before he teleported on me because I wanted him to launch me away, but it didn't launch me away. So, oh well. That's just what it is. I nearly always miss time to jump. I know I to do is still miss it. Uh, what's up, bro? This isn't a very clean Ghost King kill, but I'm just sort of chatting with chat with chat right now. I'm not like. I'm not gonna sweat Ghost King and normals, I don't really care. What's this blue shield? It's a damage shield. He's chasing you. If he, gra if he catches you, he'll suck your, suck your dick. He might teleport to the middle. No, not yet. Yeah. Be careful when he's about to jump. Did he kill the other skull bats? That's funny. Um, be careful when he's about to jump if he's in the middle of the arena. He'll, uh, he'll jump right where he's standing. He won't teleport. And that will absolutely get you, kill get you killed, especially in high roller. Blue shield chase, red shield scream. Yeah. Can't do anything. The red, sh the red shield, or the red, the scream hits you no matter how far away you are. 
Um, you can you can block it with magic protection potions or like warlock and Elder's shield, but like just drink a potion. It'd be fun. Come here, man. You are literally like one or two hits from dead. Bro, I suck. All right. I'll die. Wow, I really mis uh, misjudged his HP, didn't I? All right, I'm gonna go show you guys how to do, um... Wow. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the, uh, the Centaur, the Demon Berserker, and the, the Death Bat, and the dogs. Okay. Kill, kill gets you, I think it's based on their rank. Let's pull one dog and I'll show you guys. Wow, mission accomplished. Hey, doggy. Yeah, come on up here. Come out on the light so everybody can see. So the, the, the everyone's afraid of demon dogs, but they're really easy to parry. There's two ways to parry them. So for the running attack, you step to the right. Oh. The standing attack is really easy to parry. You just back up and put your sword in front of them like this. Well, we're gonna we're gonna bait the running attack. Watch. Straight flash. Straight flash. Put your sword right. Okay. <clears throat> Brave left. Put your sword in front of his mouth. It's basically like you're going left and backwards. Right? You put the sword right in front of his mouth. It's up a little high because he's jumping, okay? But you don't have to do that. Oh. So when he does the standing attack, you bait the standing attack and just put it in front of him. The tip in his mouth. Yeah, that's definitely not sexual at all. You crouch the running attack? No. I mean, just I just step to the left. Crouch in front of him, and then you're gonna do a little dance. You're gonna crouch in front of him, and then the weapon, the side that he is. Hold on a second. The side that he is swinging from is the side you are moving to. Okay. So he's going swinging right to left. I'm going to the right, going to the left. Understand? Left, right. That's all you do. You just put the sword in the way of his sword. Uh, you have to do. You do have to turn pretty far. So this one, for this attack, you put it near his his, uh, his right shoulder. For this attack, you you actually like basically do a 180, like right here. I'm kind of like trying to like talk while I'm doing it. it. Makes it a little harder for me, but you get the idea. Okay. Like like up here. On. Let me move away from the wall. Let me move back. So like that and this one you just look back like that i don't step left or right when i do berserker because i'm so used to it but you know i mean if you're learning how to do it just step left or right it's easier my way is much harder because if i miss the parry i get hit you get it right easy peasy easy easy peasy because uh the, when you when you do the repost you drop your guard and he will hit you if you're not moving if you do get stuck in a situation where you're mid repose and he's doing the attack from this way and you're not moving, all you have to do is duck and look down. Don't look up, he'll hit your hands. Like this. Yeah. Let's try to get the, uh, the, sci the centaur done real quick before we, um, we extract. Technically, I got a player for him. Hey, what's up, bro? Greetings! Demon? We already showed this, so I'm not gonna go too depth about it. You just you just crouch in front of him. Uh, I don't move because I'm just like that. I'm built different, but you can move left and right. Carry with your tail. That's all I do. Centaur is like the easiest mini boss to kill. He does this attack. You look up to the left. You crouch. That. With this attack, you look back and to the right. I, I crouch for both the parries here. Easy peasy. Right? He does that combo, you can parry both, both of it. This one is a little weird. It's a little touchy on the spot. Usually if you're not catching it, it's because you're not looking far enough left. You can step to the left too to ensure that you parry it. It's like a distance hit you, that's all. Well, paying Centaur, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a silly little guy. Like I might parry like I might go like a little bit to the left here, just to just to get closer to his his weapon when he does this. Can you help me defeat the Ghost King? No, sorry, Manny. At the moment we're um we're doing a, a PVE parry guide. There's one right here. I'll show you right now. Let me get him to come down, 
and then I'm gonna back up. You just back up, put your sword right, right, at, like right below his feet, right there. You get the parry. These guys are a little, a little scary, because if they hit you, they mess you up pretty bad. But you just put the tip of your sword right where his feet are gonna be for the attack. And I know that wasn't very clear. I'll show you another one in a second. We have to go. Um, we have to aggro another one. Get out. There's another one right above this extract. We have about a minute left, so I think we have time to show you guys. These uh, these dudes are really annoying. All right, check it out. You put your sword right under. This is a nightmare. And it's good to be able to back up. If you get scared, yeah, I was afraid of that. That's a that's a nightmare one. He's a little tougher. I don't have a lot of mo room to move. It is what it is. You can sidestep them though. Is what I was trying to say. The closer you are, the easier it is to sidestep them. Just put your um, sword in the middle of their feet. That gave me a little boost. Well, can you guys get close enough to me that I can kill you? No? Yeah. I look like I'm in hell? That's because I am. There's one. I might die here. <clears throat> yep, that hurts. Alright. There you go. Hopefully that helps.